Hi, my name is Dr. Lauren Knightsky Adamo, and I'm one of the co directors of the Rutgers Geology Museum. My background is in geology, and one of my favorite things to do is go to new places and museums to explore the beauty of the natural world. Everywhere I go, I always have my nose to the ground trying to figure out what type of rocks beneath, are beneath my feet and how exactly they got there. A few months ago, prior to COVID-19, my days were spent working with my amazing colleagues in the Geology Museum on the College Avenue campus at Rutgers University and working and meeting with scientists and students to work on a variety of research projects. If I was lucky, I would get a chance to go into the field and fly my drone over some awesome geology. Now my days look like this, in front of a computer with lots of video conferences, all to ensure that we can continue the museum's mission virtually despite all the state, university, and school closures. Our brand new Ask a Geologist program connects geologists and other scientists with the public and allows them to chat online about their research in geology and other natural history related topics. We have already hosted over 25 different scientists to talk about their work with more talks on the way. Ask a Geologist gave me the chance to talk to the public about one of my favorite geology topics, rock sediment and ice cores. While the laboratories are still closed, I am still working with graduate and undergraduate students on my research projects. One of my projects examines deep sea sediment cores from the North Atlantic Ocean in hopes of unraveling how ocean circulation and climate has changed over the past 25,000 years. Here is a video conference with my graduate student, Ria Sarkar. We are looking at data from tiny fossils that are thousands of years old. It might look like a bunch of wiggles, but the lines are actually showing major shifts in the global climate system when the last ice age ended between 20,000 and 10,000 years ago. My other research project uses imagery collected from drones to create three-dimensional images and models of real landscapes that can then be used for research and educational purposes. By utilizing cutting-edge technology such as LiDAR, 360-degree cameras, virtual reality software, and photogrammetry programs such as Structure for Motion, I am exploring new ways to bring the field to classrooms and laboratories. My hope is that these models will create inclusive teaching and research environments that allow geoscientists of all backgrounds and abilities to conduct geologic research. Say hi. Hi. Are we watching the computer? Uh, why should we care about yeah, this? Yeah, we're watching um, Ask a so Geologist. But most importantly, I'm a mom. And like countless other parents out there, my husband and I have to balance our work with doing schoolwork with our kids. Some days this works out great. Other days, there are many, 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 many interruptions. Hey, we're all just doing the best we can these days. Bye, bye everyone. everyone. Say bye, Lincoln. <laughs>